This video is sponsored by PokeTownStore.com, the place for all your Pokemon TCG online needs. They have code cards from a huge variety of sets, so definitely check it out, PokeTownStore.com. Also, if you use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG, you get 5% of your next order. How cool is that? What's up with you? It's Zadler's TCG here and welcome back to another TCG battle video on my channel. First of all, Happy New Year to everybody out there. I wish you all the very best for this year. Maybe you want to actually achieve day two at the regionals. Maybe you want to go even further, go to top eight, maybe win uh, the world championship. Who knows? Whatever your dream is, go after it, go chase it and enjoy this uh, yeah, fantastic new year. To start the battle videos off, we have Glaceon here with the freezing gaze, making sure that any GX in play does not have any ability. So uh, we're going to try to get this out. This, of course, is going to be paired with ADP. I know we've been, uh, been pairing uh, ADP with a lot of uh, things lately, but this is actually a successful list that uh, has been uh, doing very well at, at a regional. So that's why we're uh, taking a look at this. Of course, uh, Bachem Regionals is right around the corner. I'll be playing that as well in Germany. So if you're looking forward to that, uh, I'll be there. Come and say hi. Don't be frightened. And, uh, and we'll be fine. Okay, and this uh, deck list, we also have Silv Valley here with the Disc Reload. There's a Ditto in here, which can evolve into either Glaceon or into the Silv Valley. The Silv Valley will hop out against Control Archetypes, for uh, example, Pidgeotto Control. If we have this out, they cannot uh, yeah, leave our hand to zero cards. Also nice against Dust North Trevenant if you can get this off. Uh, other than that, we have the the uh, Lucario Mel Metal for Gardevoir matchup, Kraganol for the uh, yeah Florgus Doll Stall deck, and we even have Fion to do the the crazy work with that as well. We have Custom Catcher, so it's still using that as the the main way of targeting down the opposing. Uh, Bench Pokemon of the opponent, and there's a Mission Lorelei in here that will make sure that we can uh, search our water energies, but also we can uh, reuse our GX move from Water Type. So, out of nowhere, Polar Spill can be actually dishing out a ton of damage uh, if we can uh, reuse it. So, uh, that's gonna be fantastic to try out. And uh, another uh, great way if uh, we are using ADP, we can take additional prize cards while also dishing out 30 extra damage. The Misty and Lorelei also helps out with Caldeo. So sometimes we use this for Caldeo, sometimes we use it to search out energies. Either way, it's good. We still use the Tackle Engine to search our tag team, either supporters. We have Guzman, Hala, we have Sentia and Catelyn, we have Mallo and Lana, and now we even have the uh, Misty, Misty and Lorelei in here. So Tackle can search out a lot of things, but we'll mostly find our ADP. So this is uh, ADP as we've got used to but this time around with a twist hopefully we'll be able to showcase the power of Glaceon because I don't know if you've noticed but there's a lot of abilities in the TCG right now for instance we have the, uh, the Dene if we have Glaceon in the active position the opponent cannot use the Dene which is a very huge thing also things like self Valley if the opponent is also running a self Valley with this reload it will not happen and also the best thing about it is that perfection the ability of Mewtwo that it likes to spam you are copying attacks from uh, amazing GXs in the discard pile will no longer work so if you have Glaceon in the active position sometimes that can win you games against certain matchups this time around, we'll see if uh, we can get it off. We can uh, either, maybe if we're up against Pidgeotto Control, we can showcase the might of Silv Valley. Silv Valley is pretty similar, like uh, the uh, Zip Striker we got used to in the ADP list, but uh, the Silv Valley is also quite the phenomenal attacker. Since it can one-hit KO uh, Ultra Beast. For instance, if we're up against a Naganadel Guzzlord, that seems to be like a tag team with Ms. Magus. If we're up against that, we can one-hit KO the no questions asked. So, yeah, there's that. Okay, we're up against... Uh, Huh, very strange. I don't know what this is. Psychic, Grass, we even saw some Fairy. We'll see what it is. We're gonna go first because we want to get that energy onto ADP as quickly as possible. Uh, we start off with nothing. The opponent gets a uh, extra card, Mulligan uh, stuff. It sometimes happens on the TCG online program. We do have a lot of basic Pokemon in our list. Hopefully we'll be able to start with something decent. Okay, the opponent is having Crimson Invasion Sleeves, that means he's been around for a while. Okay, we start with Ditto. That's actually not bad. If we can get a Water Energy onto Ditto, we can immediately evolve into Glaceon and start threatening the opponent, but we'll see if that is even necessary. We'll see. Okay, we are up against, uh, okay, Dolstall. Well, in that case, uh, the thing we want to do here is get the Kryganel up and rolling. We also need to equip an energy onto our ADP as quickly as possible. So for now, I think I'm going to go for a Cynthia. We can also switch into Kryagonal, since uh, I don't think why we, sh we should not be afraid of that, but I'm just gonna go for switch, uh, actually Cynthia right away, because I want to find Tackle and an Energy, and uh, we have Communication, but no Pokemon to go around with, so in this scenario, it's actually not too too great, we can use Communication for nothing, for now, uh, I think I'm gonna go for Chaotic Swell, 
We could attach an energy onto the Ditto. That is an option, but I want to wait and just set up our ADP. We also have Misty and Lorelei to search three water energy, so... Yeah, it's not the best turn. Maybe we should have attached a water energy, but I was sure to just find communication on a Pokemon or Tackle to find ADP. But nothing more is true. The good news is that uh, next turn we will be able to use Kragonol, but Kragonol for 10 damage is actually uh, not too good. The, bet the better thing is to use ADP first, and then uh, we'll see how we go from there. The bad news is also we have Kragonol. He could target our down with like custom catchers. Does uh, Florgus Doll play custom catchers? I don't know at this point, but they could have... Okay, what is this? Tierling? Okay, it is the Saucebox version. And even getting out the Spiritomb immediately to uh, building up some spite. That is fine as it is. That is fine as it is. Okay. Even the uh, Stealthy Hood, we're making sure that... Uh, yeah, we cannot... Uh, yeah, our abilities uh, onto the Spiritomb will no longer work. Not that it matters too much. Okay, we have the necessary cherish ball now we can find either uh, glaceon but we're not gonna do that we're gonna get our adp out as quickly as possible because that is the best plan of action no uh jirachi whatsoever but we are definitely gonna be able to uh set our guy up right here let's set this up get smithy and lorelei we're gonna search our deck for three water type energies there we go one two three getting them to the hand and uh might as well get the item log rolling but then he's gonna go with spirit tomb so we can sacrifice this ditto, he can attack with that, I don't even care at this point, so uh, I'm just gonna get a one water energy, actually one metal energy over here. Uh, we could switch, he could attack with spare tomb buff. Do we give up a prize card? I guess so, I'm not afraid of that at all. Destroying our ditto is not gonna help him out too much, although finding a Silver Valley would have also been quite nice. We'll see if he goes immediately on the offensive with his spare tomb. Or he can go crazy with Salzbuck, which also dishes out uh, like 60 damage. So I wanted to preserve my ADP for now so we can uh, start uh, reusing it. This time around, uh, the uh, Spiritomb is already uh, attacking. Or, okay, he's going for Steven's Resolve. That's what I thought. So leaving Dato in the active position is not a bad thing at all. We are just going to use the Switch card, attach an energy to our ADP, and then use Altered Creation GX. And hopefully, we can go from there. Okay. All right, what can we do? We have Custom Catcher, no, we're, we're not gonna use that. Just switching to ADP, classic Altered Creation GX as quickly as possible, there we go, bam. And next turn, we're just gonna go crazy with Kryagonal. This guy already has 30 damage onto himself, so that means that with our Kryagonal, we can one-hit one KO it with 40 damage and we should be good. We have, maybe we should have waited with the Switch card so we can uh, like item lock this guy, but okay. Ooh, this is nasty. He discards our water energy. The good news is that we still have water energies to go around. Maybe he's, uh, yeah, see what he does. Why didn't he discard our metal energy? That is the main question we should ask ourselves. The bad news is, if he can get a doll out, we are gonna get, be in some serious amounts of trouble. I don't see any doll just yet. But if he has one, we should immediately switch to like Kraken also. Maybe getting that skateboard onto the Ditto would have been a better plan. But I wanted to like keep that escape board for a Jirachi if we manage to top deck one. Okay, Steven Resolve again. That's fine, we didn't see any dolls, which is fantastic. So maybe there's a couple of them prized. Maybe he's just waiting it out. I think our Kragonol will be ready to just take on the opponent here. Salzbuck will immediately bounce back to the bench and all these guys getting the item lock early on will be fantastic. Okay. I think ADP will now use, yeah, the bad news is that uh, we still need an extra energy, so, hmm. The crushing hammers will be that detrimental. Okay, we have an Eevee. What, I'm not gonna use that Eevee, we're gonna use communication, get that Eevee back in the deck, and, um, yeah, maybe getting that custom catcher to end there, meanwhile, would have been better, well, oh well. Oh well, okay, Fion could be kind of a, a nice partner here. Jirachi as well. We're definitely gonna be able to draw some cards, I think. So let's get Fion on board. Get a water, a water energy over here. I'm actually gonna equip that skateboard right now so we can draw some cards with Custom Catcher. Because we do have Fion, so there's no uh, room for more Pokemon. So here comes the Custom Catcher. Lots of cards. Counter game is very helpful if we're behind in prize cards, but he's definitely gonna be using some kind of uh, weird shenanigans. So we're gonna have to pass this one. That first crushing hammer definitely helped out a lot. 
the only thing we need to do is like use alter creation GX and we should be good. So swapping around, okay, here comes the first doll. We do have Fion to just get rid of that doll. Rare candy on the Florgus. We can only cast one more time and we have item lock if need be. So he has the spirit tomb ready as well. We need to get rid of that as quickly as possible. He could get it back with like uh, the Munchlax. Lusamine getting two Steven's Resolve back. So this is an uphill battle where, yeah, another Crushing Hammer. It is Tails, that is very, very nice. Another Crushing Hammer and it's Tails again. Wow, we survived that one. Another Crushing Hammer, oh boy. Mm-mm, okay. In this scenario, we're not doing well. So he has two Florgas out and these all fail. That's uh, very lucky for us. Snack search. Everything fails, but the crushing hammer did uh, turn out okay. Okay, in this scenario, let's do this again. Attaching the metal energy, and uh, yeah, just pass the turn. We almost there. So crushing hammers are all in the discard pile, which is fantastic. So. We are definitely gonna get this attack off, and we do have Fion, which uh, will ensure us to take two prize cards. That is gonna be fantastic. Okay, Crushing Hammer, we're gonna attach energies to Kraganol as well. Okay, here come, yeah, poof, Crushing Hammer's on top of the deck. He's gonna draw them out with Saucebuck, and we will be in some serious amount of trouble. Come on, fail! Okay, that is very, very nice. Fail again and we should be good. All these coin flips going around in a deck like this. Is he gonna go for Steven's Resolve? Okay, he's just gonna swap onto Fion. Another car crushing hammer? Okay, he only drew one. So Steven's Resolve to end this turn. Thank God we have Whirlpool Suction. That means we can definitely take one KO on whatever he throws at us. Either we destroy Spiritomb, the Saucebuck, Florgus, or Munchlax. And that after that is done, we hopefully will be able to attack with the Kryganel afterwards to uh, just call it a day. The bad news is that he has the Saucebuck. Saucebuck smacks 60 damage. Good news is we are uh, weak to metal. So he has to attack with his Spiritomb to uh, make sure we, he destroys our Kryganel. That's fine. Okay, we even have communication, so that's perfect. So first things first energy over here the whirlpool suction is taking place and he has to promote another bench pokemon so that's why it's in here he promotes munchlax and uh yeah counter gain is kind of nice well i'm actually not gonna equip it here we're just gonna go for ultimate ray bam now we can attach some energy so water energies maybe two of them so uh hmm, attacking with glaceon is also an option Still, Valley is also something we might draw from the prize card, so we are actually gonna attach water energy, two water energies to our Kraganol. Actually, only one is necessary. Yeah, two energies. Getting two water to our Kraganol, and then one metal to our Ditto. Ditto can evolve into our uh, needed Pokemon. So maybe we draw Still Valley, would be fantastic. We draw Rainbow Energy, not bad. And. Keldeo, okay, Keldeo is also a way we can uh, attack. Bad news is, we, yeah, we can, ha we can now have Whirlpool Suction. So if he doesn't get out another doll, we should be good. Right now we can manually retreat our ADP and then attack with Kryganol. Okay, the Crushing Hammers are just uh, completely going crazy here. Yeah, two Crushing Hammers failed. Putting one back on the top of the deck, drawing it out with Salzbach again, and it stills again, so, ooh. Oh boy. Uh, hopefully this one is stills as well. If that is the case, we are, yeah, it is not. So he gets rid of the energies on the Kryganel, very clever. We still have rainbow energies to work with, so we're kinda good. We'll see if he gets out another doll. If not, we can use Whirlpool Suction again take another prize card and then it should be good to go from there on out because we have two custom catchers left. Oh, Bellavi and Bryson man, he discards some cards, no custom catchers, no custom catcher. He had discarded a Jirachi but we should be good from now on. There's two custom catchers left in the deck. Okay, just skip the turn, fantastic for us, we're gonna go for communication immediately 
Gonna get that Caldeo back in the deck and find ourselves our Whirlpool Suction Dude once more. So we can take more prize cards. Ta -ta -ta. Here we go. Whirlpool Suction. Get out of here. What is he gonna promote now? He should have actually gotten another doll out, but he was so focused on discarding energies that, uh, yeah, things happen. So, here we go again. Ultimate Ray. KO. And uh, we still have energy acceleration. Uh, one metal. Actually, now that I think about it, we can attach one. Do we do that? There's one water in the, in the deck. Might as well. Hmm. Interesting scenario. We still have two switch cards left in the deck, so we might as well attach all the energy so we draw whatever we need. So two metal. Metal and a water. So metal and a water. I think that's fine. So uh, metal on the ditto. And water on the Kragonel. Yeah, the good news is with Frostbolt, you can also get rid of the, the, the dolls easily. Even though we don't take prize cards for it, you can just spam some damage. Yeah, Silvalli is here. So we even have one custom catcher in hand. So this is looking like a great hand. We can use Silvalli. We can uh, equip counter gain. We can attach an energy and then we can draw more cards with Silvalli. And uh, okay, oof, this is scary. Reset stamp to two. We have a Cynthia. That's how we do it with reset stamp. So uh, we thin out the deck completely with ultimate ray. Even though if he discards, like if he has two custom catcher heads, we still have options to take him down. Either we get two custom catchers, or we uh, have uh, the Kragonel to get rid of a, a doll. That means he cannot get a doll in play, and uh, it should be good. So Steven's Resolve. Ooh, this is it, ladies and gentlemen. He doesn't have another Pokemon. And this time around, we only need uh, the Fion, and uh, we should be good. So against Doll Stall, we have the most fantastic matchup. Now we have even options with Silph Valley, with Glaceon even. So Glaceon can get rid of this Spirit Tomb. So maybe we should try that out. Yeah, it is the state if uh, if your opponent's any damage done to your opponent's active Pokemon, okay. If this Pokemon by damage, okay, yeah, the Frost Bullet method would not work, but we can get rid of the. Uh, yeah, just gonna smack down this guy, so we have more chances of drawing into what we want, and what we get is Glaceon and <laughs> nothing of this sort. Ooh, this is scary. No time for Fion. Nothing to do here. We do have Glaceon, no energy though. Hmm, nothing to do in this scenario. Might as well smack down a Jirachi. And yeah, Ultimate Ray. Maybe we should have like manually retreated into Krag and all, so he couldn't get any dolls in play anymore. But we do have three custom catchers left in the deck. So the only thing we'll need is like Sylvalia or whatever. Yeah, not gonna attach any energies. We have Mallow and Lana to switch. We have Cynthia and Catelyn to get something back. We have Cynthia. The only thing we will need to do is like get rid of a one Pokemon. Yeah, get some dolls in play. His board is almost completely wiped out at this point. I would like love to use Glaceon to use like Frost Bullet to KO like the Spiritomb and a doll. Oh right, he's going crazy with Saucebox. Saucebox does need two energies, he needs counter gain if he has that. Okay, he manually retreats, so get rid of the rainbow energy, promotes Lily's Poke Doll. Still don't see more dolls here. Steven's Resolve, oof. This means that uh, we only need Fion or two custom catchers. That is our main plan of action. Or if not, we're gonna go crazy with Frostbolt. That at least takes a KO on the Spiritum. I wonder if you can get two prize cards immediately with that attack as well. If this Pokemon... When your opponent's active Pokemon is knocked out. Okay, the bench Pokemon do not matter in that regard, unfortunately. So, uh, to make our chances the most, okay, we have Guzma and Hala. Getting a tool card, getting special energy is not what we want. I'm actually gonna evolve into our good old Glaceon, so we finally have it in play. And now we're gonna go with Cynthia. Custom catchers, Fions, whatever we need. It is, yeah, double custom catcher, easy. So, uh, well played, and that is the first match of the year. I'm actually gonna destroy the sauce box while we're at it. And uh, let's go. We did not even use Kragonol, but it looks like this list has it all covered. We have the Kragonol for against stall decks like this. We're gonna give an energy to Cavalier for the means of it. 
So you have answers against dolls with Kraig and all. You have answers against like uh, these other stall mechanics thanks to Self Valley drawing cards. So against stall you're having a good time. You're having a good time against GXs with Caldeo. You're having a good time against Mewtwo with Glaceon. So let me know what you think about this list in the comment section below. And uh, maybe we should uh, try and make up with some new decks because ADP has been rocking the scene lately. We paired it with a lot of things and it has been seeing so much success. Let me also know what you think about the, uh, yeah, the meta game at the regionals in Germany, uh, the Bochum regionals. I'll be there as well. I'll uh, be vlogging the entire event. So definitely subscribe so you don't uh, miss that entire video. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to mouse the like button, subscribe for more content. And I will see you guys too. Tomorrow, peace out.